Hi everyone, today I would like to read again out of one of my favorite books, The Greatest Secret, and I want to talk to you about happiness. And it is something that most people um, most people are craving to be happy. If you say, what do you want to be? I want to be happy. But they also connect it with something outside of them. They will say, I'll be happy if I live in my new house. I'll be happy when I'm healthy. I'll be happy when I get to my new job. So there's always a connection with something outside of them for people to be happy. But real happiness is not to be found outside of you. Real happiness is inside. And so I'm going to read you the chapter 10, Everlasting Happiness. And I'm not going to read it all, but I will also read the summary. So... Paramahansa Yogananda says, I am living in the eternally happy present. It is not a mundane happiness, which becomes boring after a while, so that you welcome a little difficulty just for a change. The joy that has come upon me is a thousand million times more intoxicating, ever changing, ever new. In that consciousness, you feel all the happiness in the world passing through you. That is very powerful. That is like being happy for the sake of being happy and just feeling it at every moment of the day, no matter what is going on around you. And then it goes on and it says, you are happiness. It's our true nature. Happiness is not something that will happen once you receive something you want, when you feel better, get through something challenging or reach a particular goal. Happiness and never ending wellspring of happiness is here right now, inside you. One must realize the self in order to open the store of unalloyed happiness. Don't expect to attain unalloyed peace and happiness from earthly life. This should be your new attitude. No matter what your experiences are, enjoy them in any object objective way as you would a movie. You have to find true peace and happiness within yourself. And it's, it made a big difference for me when I disconnected my happiness from my outside circumstances. Was it easy? Not at all. Because usually we are conditioned to be happy because of the things that are happening outside of us. But if you once you connect to that happiness inside of you, you don't have bad days anymore. I'm not saying that it doesn't look at the outside that you have a bad day, but it shouldn't disturb you inside. Happiness is our true natural state. Happiness is the natural state of little children to whom the kingdom belongs until they have been polluted and contaminated by society and culture. To acquire happiness, you don't have to do anything because happiness cannot be acquired. Does anybody know why? Because we have it already. How can you acquire what you already have? then why would you why don't you experience it you've got to drop illusions then why don't you experience it you don't have to add anything in order to be happy you've got to drop something life is easy life is delightful it's only hard on your illusions this comes from anthony de mello in out of the book uh, conversations with the masters so then it goes on, I now live with an undercurrent of happiness that's with me at all time, which came from welcoming negative feelings and staying at awareness. So Rhonda Byrne explains in the previous chapters how to do that, how to welcome negative feelings and stay as awareness. So it's, an, an, it's such an amazing practice and she really um explains well how you can do that so i all uh i would recommend reading the book because it's it's going to change your life however there have been several times when i have had a truly blissful happiness sweep over me that's beyond anything i felt before it seems to come out of nowhere what i mean by that is that there wasn't always that there wasn't anything that caused it when it appears all negativity totally disappears. Any painful memory from my life are gone in that moment as though there never really happened. 
This blissful happiness is instantly recognizable to me as the happiness of our true nature. It can be compared to the happiness we feel from getting something we want. This is a level of happiness that is above and beyond anything I've ever felt. You know, I can be extremely happy or feel the happiness, the bliss, when I watch the sunset, the sunrise, when I watch the ocean, when I was watch the, the sun shining on the water and I see that silver that can then, but it is still something that comes from outside of me. But on the other hand, the reason that I see it is also because of the peace inside of me, because it's the projection of what's going on in my mind. So that feeling, when I watch the ocean and I see the silver light on the ocean, I can be happy because I know that this is the reflection of what's going on inside of me. So that's even an, another layer. So now I would like to read you summary of this chapter. And it says, you are happiness. It's your true nature. Happiness, a never-ending wellspring of happiness is here right now inside you. There's no other happiness but the happiness of your true self, awareness. The happiness that you've felt at any time in your life is the happiness of awareness. So you be aware and then you feel the happiness of awareness. There's nothing better for your life circumstances than you feeling happy. The happier you are, the more effortless your life. And that's true. Like I experience that firsthand all the time. When I'm happy, life is so, such a bliss. When we seek happiness in the world, our happiness is fleeting. We can enjoy all the wonderful things that we want to be, do or have in the world, but we can enjoy those things with the full knowledge that the only place to find real permanent happiness is within us. Your thoughts determine how you're feeling. So if you're not happy, it's because you're thinking about something that you don't want. Really, this is such a this is such a simple simple sentence, but it is so profound. Your thoughts determine how you're feeling. So if you're not happy, it's because you're thinking about something that you don't want. Standing between you and permanent happiness and who you really are is one thought. I don't want this. So if you think about something that you don't want, that interferes with all the happiness that comes from inside of you. When you feel pain or some hurt from a situation, let a hurtful feeling be a wake-up call telling you that right now you are believing negative thoughts that are not true. I'm going to read it again. When you feel pain or some hurt from a situation, let that hurtful feeling be a wake-up call telling you that right now you are believing negative thoughts that are not true. Many of us unintentionally resist being happy. And here I want to close um, this little short uh, video about happiness because what I would recommend you to do is to buy the book and read this chapter about happiness over and over and over again until you can just say it and without reading it. It's so it become, became part of you. Understanding that you are happiness. Sit with it. Say it. I am happiness. And how does that make you feel? What is happening inside of you when you say that? I am happiness. It's my true nature. Happiness, a never-ending wellspring of happiness, is here, right now, inside of me. Oh, you got it? Okay, I wish all of you to find the happiness that you are and feel it inside of you. And until the next video, have a wonderful day, you guys.